experiment is our center of progression. Center of progression experiment we will perform. So this is a pendulum, this is compound pendulum. So this pendulum first what we will do? This is knife edge, this is knife edge. This pendulum we will put it here over this support. We will put it, then we will take this one out. This is the hammer. This hammer we will take it out and then what we will do? We will give from a stable position we will give some angular displacement. Then it will oscillate. So 50 oscillation or 100 oscillation time period periodic time in unit to find out and find out the value of g and this pendulum this is the mass this mass can be adjusted throughout this slot at different point different location we can put it and we can find out the value of g after finding out the value of g that value will be used for calculating the center of percussion point so this is the hammer so once we find out the value of g and we keep it stable, after it gets stable, we will fix this one, this, this hammer we will fix it, this hammer we will fix it, then what we will do, we will give around 40 degree from its, this 0 degree, around 40 degree angle, we will, this hammer we will place it and then we will hit it while hitting if there is no in reaction here in, the, in this suspended point in this knife edge then that will be our center of percussion point and if we hit below the center of percussion point this this will move forward and if we hit above the center of percussion point this will move backward the center of percussion is the point where there will not be any in reaction at the suspended point. So that is called center of percussion. So this way we need to perform these experiments and for heat and trial also we can by doing the heat and trial then we can find out the center of percussion point. Also we can do the theoretical calculation by getting the value of G and uh, parameter of this uh, pendulum which length and where we are putting this hammer at different point so we can find out the center of percussion point. Suppose at this configuration at this point center of percussion point will be fixed at some point it will not change. Suppose if we change this mass to some other location then center of percussion point will also shift at some other point. So that where it lies at center of percussion point that point we need to find out by doing this experiment. So we will provide you the reading and uh, length of this, uh, this pendulum position and this uh, everything we will provide it, we will provide manual, all data will be there, you need to do the calculation and there will be some uh, error conclusions, yeah, that those things you need to put in your report. So this is the